Greetings, fellow space explorers. Our journey today takes us on an extraordinary adventure through the cosmos, a journey to the heart of our solar system's planets. Fasten your seatbelts as we delve beneath the surface of each planet, uncovering the mysteries hidden within. From the scorching heat of Venus to the icy plains of Uranus, prepare to be amazed by the diversity and wonder of our planetary neighbours. Get ready to dig deep as we explore the layers and cores of each planet, comparing them to our own Earth. We'll uncover secrets of their formation and evolution. Join me as we embark on this grand planetary expedition. Our first stop brings us to Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest to the Sun. Don't let its size fool you, though. Mercury is a planet of extremes. Its surface is heavily cratered, a testament to its long history of bombardment from asteroids and comets. Beneath this desolate surface lies a surprisingly large metallic core. Imagine a ball of iron and nickel, almost the size of our moon, taking up most of the planet's interior. This massive core gives Mercury the highest density of all the planets in our solar system, except for Earth. Surrounding the core is a rocky mantle, similar to Earth's but much thinner. Finally, a thin crust, broken into many plates, forms the outermost layer of this fascinating planet. Next, we journey to Venus, often called Earth's twin due to its similar size and composition. But don't be fooled by this resemblance. Venus possesses a hellish environment with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. This extreme heat is caused by a runaway greenhouse effect, trapping the sun's heat within its dense atmosphere. Peering beneath the thick clouds of sulfuric acid, we find a surface covered in volcanoes and lava flows. This suggests a hot, active interior. The crust of Venus is primarily composed of basalt, a volcanic rock. Below this lies a mantle of molten rock, constantly churning due to the planet's intense internal heat. At the heart of Venus lies a massive iron core, similar in size to Earth's. However, unlike Earth's core, which has both a liquid outer layer and a solid inner core, Venus's core is thought to be entirely liquid. This difference is likely due to Venus's slower rotation, which doesn't generate a strong magnetic field like Earth's. Our journey continues to Mars, the red planet, captivating our imaginations with its potential for harboring past or even present life. Mars may be cold and desert-like on the surface, but beneath its rusty exterior lies a fascinating interior. The Martian surface is primarily composed of iron oxide, giving the planet its distinctive red hue. This thin crust is much thicker than Earth's, which has implications for plate tectonics, or lack thereof, on Mars. Beneath the crust lies a thick mantle, composed primarily of oxygen and silicon, similar to Earth's mantle but much less active. At the heart of Mars lies a solid core, composed mainly of iron and nickel, with a radius about half that of Earth's core. Unlike Earth, Mars's core is no longer molten, meaning it doesn't generate a global magnetic field. This has significant implications for the planet's ability to retain an atmosphere, contributing to its thin and dry atmosphere today. Hold on tight as we venture to Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, a true giant among giants. Jupiter is a gas giant, meaning it lacks a solid surface like the inner rocky planets. Instead, its atmosphere gradually transitions into a dense, fluid interior. Jupiter's atmosphere is a mesmerizing tapestry of swirling clouds, composed primarily of hydrogen and helium. As we descend deeper into Jupiter's atmosphere, the pressure and temperature increase dramatically. This immense pressure causes the hydrogen gas to transition into a liquid metallic state, forming a vast, electrically conductive ocean. Deep within this metallic hydrogen layer lies Jupiter's core. The exact nature of Jupiter's core remains a mystery. Some scientists believe it to be a dense ball of rock and ice, while others speculate that it might be a diffuse fuzzy core, gradually merging with the metallic hydrogen layer. Next, we arrive at Saturn, 
the ringed jewel of our solar system, a planet adorned with a breathtaking system of rings composed of ice and rock particles. Like Jupiter, Saturn is a gas giant, lacking a solid surface and boasting a deep, turbulent atmosphere. Saturn's atmosphere, while less active than Jupiter's, still displays beautiful cloud bands and storms. Its composition is similar to Jupiter's, primarily hydrogen and helium. However, Saturn is much less dense than Jupiter, making it the least dense planet in our solar system. In fact, Saturn would float in water if we could find a bathtub large enough. Beneath its thick atmosphere, Saturn's interior is thought to be similar to Jupiter's, with layers of metallic hydrogen and a small, dense core. The exact composition and state of Saturn's core remain uncertain, but it's likely composed of a mixture of rock, ice, and metallic elements. Our voyage takes us next to Uranus, the ice giant tilted on its side, with its axis of rotation nearly parallel to its orbit. This unique tilt gives Uranus extreme seasons, with each pole experiencing decades of continuous sunlight followed by decades of darkness. Uranus gets its pale blue colour from methane in its upper atmosphere, which absorbs red light from the sun. Beneath its hazy atmosphere, lies a deep ocean. But this is no ordinary ocean. Unlike Earth's water ocean, Uranus's ocean is composed of water, ammonia, and methane, all in a supercritical fluid state. At the heart of Uranus lies a relatively small, rocky core, much smaller than the cores of Jupiter and Saturn. This core is thought to be composed of heavy elements like iron and nickel, but its exact composition and state remain a mystery. Section 8. Neptune, a world of blue and diamond rain. Our penultimate stop brings us to Neptune, the farthest planet from the Sun in our solar system. Like Uranus, Neptune is an ice giant, with a deep blue atmosphere and a turbulent interior. But Neptune holds a sparkling secret within its depths. Neptune's deep blue colour comes from methane in its atmosphere, similar to Uranus. However, Neptune's atmosphere is much more dynamic, with massive storms and powerful winds, including the fastest winds ever recorded in our solar system. Beneath its turbulent atmosphere, Neptune is thought to have a similar interior to Uranus, with a slushy mantle of water, ammonia and methane. However, the extreme pressure and heat deep within Neptune's mantle may create a truly unique phenomenon, diamond rain. Scientists believe that methane molecules under these extreme conditions could break down, forming pure carbon that then crystallizes into diamonds, raining down towards Neptune's core. Section 9. Earth, our home, a planetary marvel. Finally, we return home to Earth, our own planetary oasis, a world teeming with life and beauty. We've journeyed through the solar system, exploring the interiors of our planetary neighbours, but there's no place quite like home. Earth's surface is a dynamic tapestry of continents, oceans and ice caps. Beneath its surface lies a layered structure, each layer playing a crucial role in making Earth habitable. The thin, rocky crust is broken into tectonic plates, whose movement shapes continents, creates mountains, and triggers earthquakes and volcanoes. Beneath the crust lies the Earth's mantle, a thick layer of hot, solid rock that flows slowly over geological timescales. This mantle convection is responsible for plate tectonics and drives many of the geological processes we observe on the surface. At Earth's heart lies its core, divided into a liquid outer core and a solid inner core. Both are composed primarily of iron and nickel. The liquid outer core's movement generates Earth's magnetic field, which acts as a protective shield, deflecting harmful solar radiation and allowing life to flourish on our planet. Section 10. 
Unraveling the Mysteries Within. As we conclude our grand planetary expedition, you might wonder, how do scientists know what lies beneath the surface of these distant worlds? It's a question that has captivated astronomers and planetary scientists for centuries. Scientists employ a variety of ingenious techniques to deduce the inner workings of planets. By studying a planet's density, we can infer its overall composition. Analyzing a planet's magnetic field provides clues about its core's composition and state. Observing a planet's heat flow tells us about its internal activity. And by studying seismic waves from earthquakes, which travel through a planet's interior, we can map its internal structure. Combining these techniques, along with sophisticated computer models, allows us to piece together a remarkably detailed picture of planetary interiors, even though we can't directly observe them. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our insatiable curiosity to understand the universe around us. Section 11. Planetary Pizza, anyone? As we reflect on our journey through the solar system's diverse planetary interiors, let's end on a playful note. Imagine each planet as a giant pizza. The crust would be the planet's outermost layer. The mantle would be the cheesy layer. And the core would be the delicious toppings. Mercury would be a thin crust pizza with a giant meatball in the center. Venus would be a deep dish pizza with extra cheese and a molten core of spicy pepperoni. Mars would be a thin crust pizza with a slightly burnt crust and a smattering of toppings. Jupiter and Saturn would be giant, fluffy pizzas with layers of cheese and toppings extending deep into their interiors. Uranus and Neptune would be icy pizzas with a slushy cheese layer and a sprinkle of diamond dust. And Earth. Earth would be a perfectly balanced pizza with a thin crispy crust, a generous layer of cheese and a variety of delicious toppings, all cooked to perfection. So, next time you enjoy a slice of pizza, take a moment to appreciate the fascinating and diverse interiors of our planetary neighbors. And remember, the universe is full of wonders waiting to be explored.